Hey everyone, my name is Andrew and this is an AWS tutorial series on creating a custom bot you can chat with within Slack that you can integrate with your AWS infrastructure. In this tutorial, I'll go over launching an EC2 server, installing your Slack bot, and a few quick examples. All of the commands that I'll be running will be in my GitHub repository, which I will link below. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to launch an EC2 server. We're going to launch an Ubuntu server. A T2 Nano will be fine for this demo. All of my instance details are fine. My storage is fine. And I'm going to tag this as chatbot. I'm going to create a new security group. This security group is going to be called chatbot. And all I'm going to do is open up SSH to my IP. And we're going to go ahead and launch this server. Now that our server is online, we will SSH into our server. And I'm going to sudo up and I'm going to run an update. I'm going to jump over to GitHub and I'm going to start copying and pasting commands in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up Node.js. We'll jump back over to GitHub and we'll install Node.js and Git. We'll install a global version of Yo and Generator Hubot. We'll cd into our root directory where we're going to clone this repository because it has some configuration files and some examples. So we're going to make a chatbot directory. We're going to make a config directory that the chatbot is going to need. And we're going to set the proper permissions on these directories. We're going to cd into the chatbot directory and we're going to run yo hubot. And this is going to install the hubot on our system. So we'll go ahead and answer yes to this. We're going to hit enter. We're going to hit enter, enter. And we're going to change our bot adapter to Slack. Now that Hubot is installed, we're just going to remove the node modules because we're going to copy our own custom package JSON. We're going to remove package JSON and external scripts because there's some stuff in there we don't need. We're going to copy the ones over from the example and we're going to run npm install. Now if npm install breaks for you, as you see here, just go ahead and hit control C, which will get you out of here and it's fine and everything worked fine. So now we will copy our external scripts JSON that we have in this repository. Same thing with a config file. We have two examples here where we're going to describe an instance and we're going to write an I love you command. And so we'll copy those over into the chatbot scripts folder. And so now we're going to edit our config file. Now these we're going to edit with our AWS credentials. Now that we've typed our credentials in, we're going to go over to Slack and we're going to look up in the app directory Hubot and we're going to install it into our Slack team. So I'm going to give this a name of chatbot and I'm going to add this Hubot integration. So remember at this point Hubot is installed on our EC2 server and what we're going to do is we're going to use this API token here for Hubot and we're going to run Hubot on our EC2 server, which we will then be able to talk to within Slack. Pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and jump back to the repository here, and we're going to copy one more command. And this command is going to be the way we communicate with Hubot using that API token. So we're going to paste this into our server, and we're going to jump back over to uh, where our API token is, and we're going to copy that. And all we're going to do is we're going to tag on there bin slash Hubot. And we're going to hit enter. And now what this is going to do is it's going to connect to Slack. So you can see here at the end it says info Slack client now connected. So the only other thing we have to do is we have to jump over to our Slack channel and we're going to add the chat bot to uh, any channel that you want to talk to it to. So in this case I'm going to talk to it in channel help. So some basic examples of what you can do with this demo. Um, I'm going to type chatbot help and it'll show me a list of commands that I can run. So I'll type chatbot I love you and it should tell me it loves me more and it does. And now I'll show you how it integrates within Amazon. So we'll type chatbot describe instance and we'll give it an invalid instance ID. And it's going to let me know that this is not a valid instance. So I'll go over to my EC2 console. I'll copy an instance ID and I'll type the exact same command in. So I'll type chatbot describe instance and I'll give it an instance ID and you can see it returns me some data. 
Now, what's cool about this is you could literally use this for any Amazon service that has um, an API attached to it. So we're just using the Node.js SDK. So I'm just showing you an example with EC2, but this could be really used for anything. Uh, so you could really integrate this into your Amazon workflow very nicely. So I briefly want to go over the commands that I ran in Slack so you can see the I love you command. It's very, very simple. All it does is it has a robot listening for specific instructions. So in this case, that robot is listening for I love you. And the robot is called chatbot. Again, that robot can be called whatever you'd like it to be called. And you can see that it sends a message back, I love you more. So a bit more complicated example is the describe instance command. You can see I'm requiring a couple packages here, one of which is the AWS SDK and pulling in my AWS config file. Um, you can see all it is is responding to describe instance in a regular expression. Uh, it runs a call to describe instances on the EC2 SDK, um, and it sends your message back to Slack, and if it catches any errors, such as an invalid instance ID, it'll report that back to you. So very, very simple stuff. So that concludes our tutorial on setting up your own custom Slack bot. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.